I've just followed the pass from Lugene um, Zee and I'm heading now towards Brienz and this is the first place I felt comfortable enough to actually stop and there were a couple of places where potentially I could have stopped but there were a number of places where people were doing work, the roads authority was trying to keep the road open and I didn't want to leave my van somewhere where they were then going to turn up and uh, use. I also saw three lorries broken down on the way here so I, I was very cautious but this is such a big place here that I felt as though I could actually stop here. Views coming over this pass were outstanding and some time ago I stopped filming my journeys. I haven't filmed now a journey for more than uh, three and a half years and um, I came to the company, well, does anybody really want to see a dash cam of me? Uh, well, the thing is, dash cams didn't exist when I started doing it, uh, so um, I, maybe I thought of the idea. But in this case, it was so attractive with the mist, thick mist in the valley, and you had the bright sunshine on the mountains. It was outstanding. So poetic a pleasure, as Telly Savala said to Diana Rigg in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. And oh, I'm really pleased to be here. Now, I'll say uh, one or two things about the, the vehicle, the, the, the Sunlight T67 I'm driving. Um, I'm being very cautious, of course, with it. And um, so I'm, I'm leading and others are following. So the, when I can, I pull out the way and let other people get past me who may know the road. But it's managing very well. And uh, it's got this thing that tells you to change gear. But I mean, when you're going up a hill in second gear and you then it says change and think well I'd rather not I'd rather have more control on the vehicle now you can see down there through the forest or through the trees I should say the, the mist it's like a river of mist down there Hey, no, this is really out outstanding. Now, camping here is a bit of a problem, though, because they're quite less strict, apparently, on where you can actually leave your vehicle. And where I parked uh, earlier today at uh, Kaiserstube, I uh, obviously wouldn't, definitely wouldn't leave it there for any length of time, because it wasn't uh, a private car park, even though I appreciate that the restaurant may well be closed at night, but it's not the sort of thing you do. Oh, the early morning sounds. In fact, it's not all that early morning any longer. It must be well gone eight by now.